for today's video. I actually got requested to do this by this person right here. And I've gotten a few comments on my hair, so I figured I would do a hair routine for you guys. So before we get started, I just want to give you a little background on me and my hair. I have very thick hair on my mom's side. Like, the whole family has very thick hair. And there was like a little saying, like, for every one strand we have four kind of thing. So it's really thick, and it's actually thinned out quite a lot since I was little till now. It's a lot thinner, but it's still very, very thick. And that's why I never do my hair. It's always straight because it takes forever to curl. It doesn't like to be up in a ponytail sometimes because it gets heavy. And then I can never put it in a sock bun. That is like the hardest thing in the world to do. And whenever I braid it, it just kind of falls out because there's so many layers in here to thin it out. So I don't know. I just kind of like to keep it straight. It's just the easiest thing for me. It's pretty much naturally straight. It's kind of got a little bit of waves to it. But other than that, my hair is pretty cool. It just kind of stays naturally straight and I don't really have to, I don't use hairspray in it or anything. So my mother is actually a hairdresser and she's done my hair my whole life and I've never had it colored or anything. I've only had it highlighted tw twice, I believe. And that was just very little, minimal. And she always cuts my hair for me. So for my shampoo, I use the Back to Basics Raspberry Almond reparative shampoo and it looks like this it's pink and it didn't come with this it was like a where you pour it out on your hand but I like the pump so I put a pump on this and it says for damaged hair and stuff which my hair is not damaged it, it's never like really oily or anything it's just kind of there but this stuff really really works and what I like to do is I like to put a little bit in and I put it in and then I half rinse it out I rinse it out just a tiny bit and then I go back and I put another pump and I use a little bit more but then I just get it all in there and then it just becomes like this big pile of soap stuff and it just really really works to clean my hair and then I rinse it out then for my conditioner I use the Bandy Tear Green Meadow Balancing Conditioner and this stuff is amazing I've always found myself coming back to Bandy Tear and I when I was little I called it Bandy Tree because it has more of a fun ring to it but my mom has always stressed that this is really good stuff and whenever I go use something else I always find myself that I, I want this because this stuff just makes my hair so soft it doesn't do anything else and it just keeps it very very healthy. But I've heard that some people only put it like right here and then they go down. I personally don't like to do that. For some reason I don't mind. I put it right here. I don't put it right at the roots but I put it right here and I just get it all through because I have shorter layers sometimes. They're grown out now, but when I was, when I had shorter layers, they were like up here kind of thing. So I just put it right here and I just comb it through like that. And then I take a comb and I comb through all of my hair to get the conditioner really all up through it. And sometimes when my hair's feeling kind of really, really like dry or anything, what I like to do is I roll it up. So I kind of roll it up and then I put it up onto my head and then I put a shower cap on to just soak in the heat and everything just whenever my hair needs that but I don't do that every time so then what I do when I get out of the shower is I let it kind of air dry a tiny bit and then I spray in it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and this stuff is amazing I heard about it from Miss Glamorazzi and then I was like in my mom's bathroom and she had this already and I was like can I try it? And she let me, and it's amazing. It really, really detangles my hair because since my hair is so thick and it's so long, it's starting to be very, very stubborn with tangles. Like, I have to put it in a braid before I go to sleep, otherwise it'll be all over and like just everywhere and it'll take like 10 minutes to comb through because that's just how stubborn it is. But this stuff really, really helps and it just makes it super soft and it smells really good too. It doesn't have like an overpowering weird smell. It is kind of a little bit different than like a fruity or like these kind of smells, but it does smell good. And then what I do is I usually let it air dry if I have time or if I don't, I'll kind of do other things while it's drying and then at the very end, I'll kind of just blow through it with cold air just to really 
get it dry, and then I take the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray, but I'm in love with this, so I always use this, and then I just straighten my hair. My hair is basically already straight, so all I have to do is just kind of go through it a couple of times. I don't hairspray it because I feel like I don't need hairspray. It doesn't, I don't need it to say stick straight. I kind of like it looking a bit more natural and just kind of curling in slightly. And throughout the day, it just kind of goes back to kind of tiny curls, but it doesn't go to the waves that I have when I wake up. So it just kind of varies how my hair looks every day, but I just personally keep it straight. I hardly ever do anything to it, like I said. If I ever do anything to it, it's usually a braid, or sometimes I can get a pretty good bun, but it, it kind of takes a little bit effort. And then for my bangs, they kind of have grown out. I need to get them cut again, but I just kind of do a little twist thing with the straightener, and they seem to work for me. And then I just kind of put my hand through it and let it just kind of cling on to the hair behind so it looks kind of pretty. And that is it. That is all that I do to my hair. I don't put like a million products into it. I really don't find a need that I need to because it's pretty much hassle free on its own. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some little inspiration about how I do my hair and how you might want to do your hair. If you like this and my hair, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you would like to, just to see more of my videos. And if you have any requests, please leave a comment down below or you can tweet at me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash And yeah, I will talk to you guys later and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.